are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on patreon Karen, Debbie, Virginia, Pamela, Kathy, Sherry, Robin, Becky, Marta, Pamela, Janet, Christy, Amber, Joyce, Melanie, Robin, Jennifer, Bonnie, Sue, Kim, Kathy, Bonnie, Kelly, Christine, Liz, Mary, Catherine, Gail, Amy, Bibi, Mary Jo, Kara, Andrea, Monica, Anita, Anissa, Priscilla, Heather, Diane, Connie, Linda, Jessica, Margaret, Kathy, Gail, Kathy, Ruth, Marlene, Marie, Jody, Millie, Nicole, Kimberly, and Amanda. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Oh, there's no sound. Is there sound? Can you guys hear me? Good morning. Okay, I'm not seeing anyone else saying no, no sound. Okay, Mary Pat has sound. Okay, thanks, guys. Um, thanks. We are live on YouTube and Twitch. My Twitch is, I don't know, twitch.com slash MelodyLane815. You hear my ice maker because my refrigerator went out and I have to keep making ice and putting my refrigerator. They're coming Monday to fix it. Okay, um... We do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 8 a.m. Pacific. Sorry, it's so early on the Pacific Coast. Uh, we are doing Design Space. This is the fourth Saturday of the month, and so we're doing Pinterest inspired. So what we do is we go into Pinterest, we look for a project, and we recreate something like it in Design Space. So many people will post a picture. Uh, does anyone have an SVG for this? Does anyone don't need an SVG you just create something like it in your own use your own fonts and use your own images and make it in design space so that's what I try to teach you to do on the fourth Saturday of the month um, and we do a giveaway every Saturday today I have a question about uh, the videos I did earlier this week and today the giveaway will be $15 gift card to Amazon or $15 in PayPal if you want PayPal money. Um, I think next week we'll give away maybe another cutie. Who wants a cutie? Uh, we'll maybe do that next week. Uh, other people can hear me. Linda, she can't hear me. I'm talking to Linda who says there's no sound. Can someone help her? Um, Thank you. Okay, so I want to shout out to Bobby Ford, Bobby's Papercraft, here on YouTube. He uh, gave me inspiration for today's Pinterest search. So that's what I'm doing. Five minutes ago was the first time I searched it, but he showed me pictures. I'm like, that's a great idea. Let's do that. I've never seen anything like it. He says there's lots of them. Uh, I just, I want to say two. Um this the dream cart behind me i also moved my paper over here but the dream cart behind me black friday deals start monday at they start monday 7 p.m eastern but i have special links and codes that you can start it at 5 p.m so i'm gonna be live 5 p.m monday to we're gonna go through every drawer in my cart you're gonna see everything that's in my cart you can ask me any questions you want. The first 500 people that buy the cart get a power package that's worth $189. I don't even have that, uh, but they get that free. So if that's something you want or you've been waiting for the Black Friday deal, you want to come at 5 p.m. Eastern to get it ahead of the public. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about that. And 
Uh, also, subscribe to my email if you want Black Friday deals. Uh, Black Friday is starting early this year, and I have the scoop. And um, if you sign up for my emails, there is a link in the description, and you can you'll get you if you read your emails, you you'll get the scoop. And make sure you don't miss any of these videos. Black Friday does not start Friday. It's gotten earlier. All right, guys. Um, are we ready to start design space class? Thank you, Ronald. I'm so used to seeing that, Ronald. I, thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Yay, Sheila's husband said she can get one. So, Sheila, I can save you up to $500. Plus the power pack worth $189. So, um, I actually shared some links and codes and stuff already. But you can't do it yet. Okay, so here we go. Design space. Look, it's design space. All right. Um, oh, we're going to go to Pinterest first. Okay, so have you guys seen this? I am not. I didn't know how to search it. I found some through here. Bobby, if there's a better way to search it. Hi, Twitcher. Um, I searched old O meter. I searched it as one word and I got less things. <laughs> Ronald says he got used to Christmas in July. And I thought these were so cute. Like that shirt, that's really cool. I'm not showing you how to do that one. I'm not exactly sure how to do that one. But there's lots of them. It's called Oldometer. But I just thought these were so neat. It's like it's turning from 49 years to 50. Oh, that's neat too. Uh, but he was showing me all different kinds. So we're going to look at some. Here's one on a, like a plaque you can make for somebody. Somebody's turning 80. Wasn't this a good idea? I like it. Okay, wait. we got to find more. I think there's more depending on how you search. I thought I saw more here. Okay. Oh, here's, uh, here's the SVGs you can buy. I don't want to copy that. Um. But it's just the, it's actually just the same one that says Oldometer with the numbers. And then here's some mugs. That's that one's a little bit different. It looks like a scale or something. But I like those shirts. Let me see. Oh my gosh, you guys, Bobby's gonna be 50 in July. Here's one. Here's another shirt. There's the shirt. So all we need it to do, oh look a card! Old meter New Year's party. But you could uh, do that with a, here's a mug. You could do that with just these numbers and give somebody a card. Oh, I want to make a card. See, they're, those are fun. So, shall we make one? <laughs> I announced his birthday instantly. He felt old. How old am I? I think I'm 48. Right? Yeah. What year is this? Yeah. <laughs> Oldometer. Okay, let me search that. Old. Dumb. Let me 
Oh my gosh. I, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I guess, oh. Okay, let's try this. All right, let's just try this as one word. Yeah, there's more this way too. But they're all spelling it old o meter. First mug, sweatshirts. So all we all we need to make is the word old o meter and a square and these in a square and numbers with them not full numbers. I think that's going to be pretty easy. Oldometer. Okay, let's try that one. This is a lesson on searching. <laughs> Okay, Bobby says old o meter. Yeah, it looks like there's more this way. So remember, if you can't find something, Spell it a little differently. Okay, let's go to design space. Yeah, this is gonna be super easy. Maybe we can make a card too. Okay, what do we need first? A square. Unlock the square. Where's we're just gonna I make it this find any square, but I'm working on adding more local businesses. Somebody thought I was talking to her. Uh let's just duplicate because we need another square. Unlock. And we're if you're new, all I did was click shapes, add a square. You unlock it, and then you can move this button in the bottom right corner. It's the green one. And you can make it any size or anything you want. I gotta remember to explain what I'm doing. So please, if you have questions, ask them in all caps. I can see all the caps better than not all caps because I do miss some of the, uh, Bobby says he feels 70. I do miss some of the chat. So I'm gonna duplicate this. Okay. And this doesn't reach, so I'm just going to do that. Um, okay. We need some numbers. So we hit text, or we need some words. How do we want to spell this? Do we want to just, I think they were spelled, let's do them all caps. Old O meter. Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. Old O meter. Okay. I'm going to put this in white for now. Let's do the background. Uh, in a color. So to change the background color, we're just going to click down here. Coffee for Bobby. Happy birthday. Thanks, Ron. Uh, and we're going to change the color. Oh, I'll just change it to blue. Okay. Uh, let's do a font. Okay. 
I don't know what kind of a font. Does anyone have any ideas? Let's use Cricut font and one in Access. So when I share this, I will share this with you guys. Um, I'm just going to duplicate and you know what, for now, let's just change this box to white because all the fonts are going to change. Uh, a frightful affair. All the One of the ones from the mystery box, but then everybody can't use it. Unless they buy the mystery box. Should we make everybody buy the mystery box? There's, um, maybe varsity? Or city letter. Pioneer. Oh yeah, that's from the mystery box. I like that one, but I don't know if I like it for this one. I'm thinking something more plain. The mystery box is available for Canada. The mystery box I just released yesterday is available for Canada. Uh, they will eventually be in Design Space, yes, in Access. Yeah, if you have Premium Access, it's only $14, $15. It's amazing. about the folk art without that oh. I kind of like this top one or this one what do you guys like? Say this one's one, this one's two, this one's three. I don't really like this one. Ronald, thank you. Fonts are very important to make sure our projects look awesome. Sometimes I look through my projects to see the fonts that inspire me. I can then open the project and edit and save as. Thank you, Ronald. The top one. Yeah, I, I was thinking the top one too. It reminds me of the 40s. <laughs> Pioneer. Or the 20s, is it? Okay. Let's it could be the 20s. I don't know. All right, let's go with one. Okay, uh, we need numbers. Oh, how old do we do a 51 for Bobby? Now, I want you guys to pay attention. You know I'm going to give you this file, but I want you to pay attention to how to make it because I'm not going to make it for every year. So you need to learn how to make it so you can make your own. Um, we're going to have to do these separate. 
Oh, so I need a four. Oops, wrong font. What font was this one? Avendia. Com. You know what? I'm just going to duplicate this. So I don't have to go searching for the font and double click it and change the word. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to change this back to the gray. Change this to white. So I just select whatever I want to change and then go up here and change the color. And if I want more advanced colors, I can go down here and play with all that. And I'm going to make this bigger. And I think this. Wait a minute. Let's, okay. Let's do this. So if we were going to put this in the center, this is probably, let's make it a little smaller. Maybe how big the number would be. So what we need to do is we have to duplicate this to get the same size for all the numbers we want. So we duplicate it and then change it to a five, not a 5T. Okay, we're gonna duplicate it. Uh, we need a nine. So we're gonna double click it, delete and nine. And then we're gonna duplicate it again and double click it and we need a zero. So we're going from 49 to 50. Um, that zero, we're going to change. It's a little too wide, I think. So I unlocked the lock on the zero, and I'm just going to make it like this because that's what I want to do. It's still the same height, and it won't be too fat. Thank you, Sue. Coffee for Ronald. Thank you, Ronald, and everyone for your awesome support. I agree. Thank you, Sue. Okay, let's see if there's questions. If you have a question and it didn't get answered, please repost the question. Is there an issue going on with the Always Be Kind cartridge? It says it is free one and has the green symbols, but there is nothing there. I don't know about that. I haven't known of an issue. How long have you been designing with Cricut? I don't work for Cricut if you mean like designing that way. I just am just a crafter like you guys. And I got design space. They did give it to me a little early so I could learn it to make videos, but they gave me no direction. There were no videos, no directions, no manual. I just had to figure it out on my own by playing with it. I don't know if Cricut HTV expires. I, I've never heard of that. I just, I have really old ones I still use. Sometimes you can't go back and edit the text. That is true. You cannot go back and edit the text. If it has been attached, you'd have to detach it. If it has been welded or if it has been ungrouped. Notice we did not ungroup this or weld this or anything with that odometer, old demeter. Uh, we are going to be editing this. This is why I want you to pay attention or you can always come back and watch this video again. You can always watch a replay. Uh, so there's no problem there. You can always watch that because you guys are not going to always want a 49 to 50. Um, you know what? I need to look at Pinterest again. How are these? 
Okay, the five is moving up more and the nine is lower on the, that one. I like that one. But this one, it's different. It's like the second one is... They're all different. So I guess you can do it however you want. Okay. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We, okay, wait, let me group. I'm, see how I'm dragging this with my mouse? I'm dragging that word old me, old meter <laughs> and the square. I'm gonna group those for right now because I wanna hide them. Because I wanna, I need to do some slicing here. So I'm just gonna go over here and hide them so they're out of our way. We're gonna actually slice those too. I could have just done that, but um, okay. So I think this and this, and you guys tell me, how does this look? Like we're gonna cut this off at the top of these boxes. Kathy Cromwell, wait, welcome to being a member. I did see a question on how do you get the melody emojis? Uh, you can join my channel for only 99 cents to become a member of the channel and you get a badge and you get the special emojis. What does slice mean? You'll see. I have lots of videos on Slice also. Hi, Joan. Okay, what do we think of this? Do you know what I'm gonna do next? Before I slice, I do this before I weld also. I'm going to group all of this together because I want it in one group. Oh wait, yeah, okay. I'm going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to hide the group I just duplicated. So if I make a mistake, I don't have to redesign all that. So I'm going to hide one. Now this is all grouped. I'm going to ungroup it because we cannot slice and edit while it's grouped. So now we're back to not grouped. Oh, uh, you know what I need to do? I'm going to select all of these. Thank you, Carrie, for subscribing. And I'm going to align because we want to make it sure it's aligned correctly. We're going to align center horizontally. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to align center horizontally. So they're even in the middle of the boxes. Okay. Uh, the Badges and emojis do not work for Patreon. I wish they did. I wish I could give you guys the badges just for being a subscriber, but YouTube doesn't allow that. I have no control over who gets those, only YouTube, and you have to sign up through YouTube, and then they know. Okay, so how do we feel on this? You think it needs a different zero? It's the same font though. Oh, soup for soup, Miss Super Klutz. We love you. That's awesome. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, Kathy's asking what's the difference with Patreon. And Patreon has all different levels of perks that you get and benefits. Uh, a member of the channel for $4.99 gets you all of my files, my hundreds of design space files. As the same with Patreon, you get those hundreds of design space files. But uh, with Patreon, you don't get the emojis and you do with the membership on YouTube. Okay, I have one, it's perfect. You guys are just talking to yourself, not paying attention. It's okay, I don't blame you. <laughs> Sue, you're funny, okay. Okay. Okay, we, we got looks good. 
So what we need to do is slice this out. Um, what my thoughts on doing this is to slice this out so we only have one layer and it's the back layer and it's going to have the four sliced out and the five sliced out. And so we don't have to layer anything. At least this is how it would be for an iron-on or a vinyl sticker or something. Um, if we're doing a card, we might do something different. So I have those saved images in here. I have a saved. We can redo it again for a paper project. I thought you could still do it, but it wouldn't be as easy. Okay, so when you slice, it's kind of like using a cookie cutter, and you're going to cut a piece out so we're going to cut this four out of this black square when you slice you can only select two things at once so it would be awesome if i could slice all of this select it all and click slice so easy but look the slice button right here is grayed out we cannot do it we can only do two items so if you look in the layers panel i have the four and I have the square selected because those are darker gray. And the slice option is good. If you do not have the slice option and you think you should, the answer is in the layers panel. If you had a score line attached or anything grouped or anything attached, you won't be able to use the slice. Look in the layers panel. Some people ask questions and they think it's not working. It is working. If there's a, there's a reason and the answers in the layers panel. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this four. And when you do slice or weld or attach, it brings those images that you're using to the very front. So my five did not disappear. It's just in the back. So we don't need this piece. We don't need this piece and it makes more pieces. We don't need that piece. So we're going to select this one and we're going to arrange and we're going to move it to the back because now we have to select the five and the box and we're going to slice that. So we don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, I didn't click that. We don't need this. Uh, so now let's do the same thing over here. We're going to select those two items. We have the nine and the square. Thanks, Kathy. Welcome. And we're going to slice. And just delete these. Now we're going to move this to the back so we can slice the zero. Okay. Who here thinks they can do this? Can you guys do that? Was this easy? Now, you might not remember every step I took, but you can rewatch the video and do it as I do it. So pause the video and come back. And do it oh wait I'm like looking for this one okay I want to go ahead and slice this now if you were to change the font or ungroup the font you would not be able to select this and slice if you ungroup this word old it um what I want to say if you ungroup the word old it separates them into each layer so right now the word old is in one layer. If it separates into one layer, you cannot slice it. But because you might need to if you use a different font, if you do, you can just weld the words first, weld the word together, and then you can slice. Okay, so I'm going to select these. I only have two things selected. Now, if the word was ungrouped, I would have a whole thing selected over here. And what I could do is I could weld them together and then do it. Or do one word at a time, one letter at a time. That's not fun. So I'm going to slice this. And I'm not going to delete this. I'm going to... 
hide this because it's the word. And if I want to use this again, I can use that again, just like that. And then this one, we want to delete. And there we go. Thank you, Ronald. Yes, great advice. Ronald says, please have your customer or a friend proof your copy before you print and cut. Google fails for the reason why no regrets. Okay, uh, so we're going to save this. I'm going to put old meter 50. Oh, and I can't share because I'm not in my browser. Let me open a browser up over here. Go to my projects. Oh, my projects, not Cricut projects. There it is. Okay, and I'll show you. So I just opened Design Space. Hold on, I can't see what you see. In my browser. Let me pull it down. So I just made it in the desktop app. And from there, I, I can't share yet. They're, they'll be changing that. So I have to open up. I open up my browser to my projects and there's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that, copy that, and give to you guys. Oh, there it went twice. I didn't know if it would go over there from here. Okay. Um, yes, Tisha, this would be beautiful on with infusible ink. That is a great idea. You could make it a stencil if you want. Or you could cut it out of vinyl or, oh, we're looking at the, you could cut it out of vinyl or anything. Now, I don't know the size of this. This is 10 inch wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it. Let me save it again. Uh, you can change the size to whatever you need. If you want to put it on vinyl and put it on a mug, you just make it whatever size you need it to be. Um, so it, who thinks this was easy to make? Watching me do that, do you think that's easy? I think you can do it even if you have to rewatch the video, do the top word first, pause the video, and you do it in your design space. Um, so we're going to make this as a card. Do you guys want to make it as a card? Uh, okay. For a card... Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? Okay, uh, we'll do four and a quarter by five and a half. That is an A2 size card. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to unlock the lock. I think, yeah, it's unlocked. And the width is 8.5. Four and a quarter. Yeah. And the height is five and a half. And sorry, I don't know. Somebody's cutting down a tree or something around here. Don't know what that noise is. Sorry, guys. We can just make this five and a half. 
And we're going to center. This This is the score line. Because when you make a card, you have to have a score line. Um, align, center. And then... Do I want to attach? Yeah, I'm going to attach. I was only questioning it because I didn't know if I was going to be slicing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer. So we could have this side be the inside of the card and this side be the outside because I'm going to lay another paper on the front. Um, so we need another square. I'm going to unlock it and... You can do this a certain measurement if you want. I don't usually do that. Um, and I'm going to make the old meter on this. Now, you, you could do this so many ways. Um, let's make this red. Let's duplicate it and make one blue. Because I feel like red, white, and blue. We're going to unlock. You guys, I'm I'm just doing this all in my head. Like, I'm just... Okay. Uh, our numbers are now going to be less squarish and more this way. Um, Lynn Loves is asking, how do you pronounce it? Can somebody type it out how it should be pronounced? Because I'm not sure. Uh, Ronald says, be sure not to spell it old mama meter. <laughs> um, Corkster says, how do you browse my project files? You can go to my post and you can go to my post back to 2013. That's how long I've had Patreon. Or you can go to MelodyLaneInspired.com and scroll through them there. Um, okay. Do we want to use the same? Let me up okay those are the numbers okay this piece that we have we're gonna hide this for now um oh that's the piece we just hit I'm looking for the word that's on there there it is. Uh, we're going to bring it to the front. Could unlock it and make it that way. And okay, here's the numbers. Are these all grouped? Yes. So I'm just going to shrink this down. Make it in the front. Okay, ungroup. I'm going to make this box bigger. Uh, and we'll duplicate it. So this box out of the way. Arrange that to the back. We've got to align them, center horizontally. These should still be centered. Um, do we like this? Let me group it again just so I can move them around together. The top of that four and the bottom of the letters won't be the same. Uh, let's just make it. A little thinner. Do we need? Do 
we want that to be a square? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna hide it in case my idea doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna ungroup this. We're just gonna try this. We're gonna slice all these. I can right click and move it to the back. Slice. So get those two, slice. Right click, move it to the back, slice. Okay, everything above gets deleted and below gets deleted. And there's actually two. Isn't there? Yeah, there's two there. Okay, let's just do this for now. Oh yeah, I could have welded the numbers to slice them all at once. So if I would have welded all the numbers, here, let's back up. I'm going to show you something else. I'm just backing up. Hey, you guys, when you backed up before, when you did went to undo, it used to take a long time. They must have fixed it. We're still not backed. Now it's the four. Okay. So now, instead of doing one at a time like I just did, I can select this, hold down the shift key. I have the four selected, I'm gonna select the five. I'm still holding down the shift key, click the nine and click the zero. Now over here, I can see these are all selected and I can weld these together and then, oh, wait a minute, see the square? I'm holding down the shift key, I'm gonna do the same thing with that and hold that down and weld those together. I'm gonna move those to the back. So now I can just select it all and slice. And they all move like that. They're all welded together and I can delete those. I can delete those. I can move these up here and put those there. I don't know how we want this. Do we even want that? Yeah, I guess we do. We need that. Well, I don't know if we want this. I'm going to hide that for a minute. Let's make this blue. Maybe this is what I want. And then put that so it fits over there. Make that blue. And I can right click, send backwards. Thank you, Ronald. Oh, yeah, we can just put a white piece behind the numbers. Uh, but since you're doing this uh, with paper, you would have to, unless you did it with vinyl, you can do vinyl on cards. I do it all the time. You can even do iron on, on cards. Um, you could do white piece behind these, which I should have duplicated these before I sliced them. Well, I did here, right? Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate that. and I'm gonna hide one. So I don't need that. Make this white. Make 
and put it behind that. And you can do the same thing with this. Um, here, let's move these down here so I don't mess that up. So I'm going to duplicate the blue square. We're going to make one of them white. I'm going to slice this out. Let's center it. So I select them both, click a line and center, and then slice. And then put that behind there. And group. Now if you're doing it with this paper, the middle pieces you will have to glue in there like the D, the O's, and the R right there. And like I said, if you don't like the font or you need to change the numbers, uh, you can do that. Let's, I want to group these together and it'll just be easier to do it over here. So I can just grab it all and group. Could you have welded the two gray pieces back together after slice and make it solid again? Um, and put the white numbers on top. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I think if I understand what you're saying. You can, you don't have to slice these out. You can just put numbers on top. You can just make boxes and put the word and the numbers on top without slicing. But this way, it's set up for you to know where to put it. And it's just easier, I think, to know where to put it. And then this way, it's like a puzzle piece. You can put the numbers in there. Like you will have to set this middle piece here, this middle, because that's cut off there and the four and with it cut out like this you can put the white part in and then put the blue piece so with the nine you would put the white part in like a puzzle piece because it's cut out of the blue and then put the blue inside the nine and the same with the zero put the white in and then put the blue middle in once you have it cut out on paper it's easier uh, what do we want to say on the inside? Um, so if we want to write on the inside like a card, we're going to add text. And I'm going to change it to writing. So right here it says style. We're gonna, And it says regular. We want to choose writing. And it's on folk art. Um, well, it's just happy birthday. Okay. Um, I love that writing. It's so pretty, but that's not the writing. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the folk art writing font, but it doesn't go with this card. I mean, we could change the colors and make it more girly or something, but... Okay, could we go through and change one of the numbers? Um, oh wait, I, first I wanna go here and do writing. Uh, oh, how about, I like the awesome one. I'm gonna double click it. Anytime you need to edit the font when it's still available to font, to edit, whoops. Okay, I'm being mean. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit enter. Happy birthday, old man. <laughs> um, 
I want to align this center and make it smaller. Now, I'm going to select this. In order to get this to write, let me, okay, wait, let me remove these. Um, let's go ahead and click make it so you understand something. This is writing on your mat. There's no paper here. We want it to write on the inside of the card. So what we do here is select the writing and the card like this and then click attach. Now you can click make it and it writes on the card. Uh, and we can arrange this to the back. Okay, and I do not think that 50 is old. Let's just make that clear. I just think it's a fun card. Uh, thank you, Ronald. I'm reading your chat, guys, so um, okay. Uh, now, if you want to change this, um, what you have to do is detach, and then you can change this. I can change what it says, and I can change the font. Now, to put it back after I changed it, I have to attach it again. And if I want to see the rest of the card, I have to move it to the back. So now, somebody asked about changing these numbers. You cannot change these numbers now. You would have to recreate it. So to recreate it was easy. You just follow the steps I did in the video. They're just numbers and squares and lining them up where you want them and slicing. So what do you think? Uh, let's do, now this is still our project where we did our other old meter. And I'm gonna click save as, so I'm gonna do card. So this is a card. Why are my fingers hitting more buttons? Um, Twitch is asking, do you review the questions after class to answer some unanswered questions? Um, I'm going to do the giveaway. And then after the giveaway, if you have questions, ask me and I will try to answer them. Uh, because if you have questions that are not answered, here, let me talk to you. If you have questions that are not answered, you can put them in the comments on YouTube, uh, underneath the video and then I can answer those but I can't answer the ones in the chat after the video because I can't respond to them I just I'm not able to respond to them that way so uh if you put them in the comments after the video after YouTube lets you put them in the comments then I can respond to questions uh, okay should we do the giveaway Oh, wait, I did not share this with you. Let me find it. Uh, and of course, you can change the colors. You can, you can change anything you want on this card. Here's the card. Uh, how do we get that into design space? So if you click on the link that I just shared, uh, it will open up your browser and design space and you save that to your account and then you can open it up on the desktop app or your iPhone app or any app where you use design space. It, if you save it, please try to save it as private. I don't share my files with everybody. So save it and don't share it with anybody. And it'll be in your account to use. 
Oh, there probably should be a space between old man. I'll change it. Uh, detach. Attach. Range to back. Save. See how easy that was to fix? So this is the front of the card. So these will cut. Let me show you. When I click make it, this all cuts, then that will cut and this will cut. So you put these pieces on the red piece on the front of the card. So the card won't look like this when you open it. When you open the card, this side will be white, but the front just isn't here. I mean, you can't flip over it on the computer. So you would just put the old meter in the front and then open it up and happy birthday, old man. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, Anita says, did you explain how to change the numbers to a different age? You have to recreate it to change to a different age. You cannot change these numbers because they're sliced out. So you just have to recreate it. You can just recreate this part. If you uh, liked this card or the images, you could just recreate this card and just keep it in here and hide the ones you don't want to cut. So if you have different ages to make, and then anytime you need that card, you can go back and do it really fast. It's really easy to change. You just have to recreate it. And I showed you exactly how to do it. Oh, it didn't share. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, and after the giveaway, I'll show you where my paper is. I'll show you my craft hug. Because uh, I moved my paper much closer to me. Okay, my question for the day, it, how this works is the first person to answer correctly will get the prize. They will have to email me. Jamie knows the answer and I know the answer and we are going to look for the very first person who answers it correctly? Um, so, the question is, first before I do this question, let me show you the cards I made this week. So this I made Thursday night during Thursday Night Live. Made a pop-up card, says have a very Merry Christmas. This is one of my files I share. I made one like this before and it says, I love you. And then dot, dot, dot. And then it says this much or something like that. The bear is holding the sign that says this much. So I just love that bear. And then on Tuesday, my son made his first card. This card is an amazing for a first card, but he had this idea. He said the, he wants to make the one with the different folds and the different, so they pop up in different layers. So I showed him the step card and he's like, yeah. So he designed this. I did ask him to use this paper pack because I love it and I thought it'd be cute with his design. So my son made this card. I come bearing gifts. Isn't that cute? And so that's the, his card. And it sits like this. And it's a two hour video, but we designed it live. 
and we cut out each thing live. Like I didn't know what it was gonna be until we're in the video live. So we cut it, we designed it, cut it, put it together live, and it was his first one. Okay, so are you guys ready for the question? Those cards were a hint. Um, the question is, what paper pack, what is the official name of the paper pack, not the brand, the name of the paper pack we used in uh, the videos this week on Tuesday and Thursday? I use the same paper pack and it has a name and I don't mean the designer of the paper pack. Okay, Heavenly Scent on uh, Twitch. Got it first. So he Heavenly Scents, you need to email me at Melody Lane Designs. It does have an S, Melody Lane Designs at gmail.com. Yeah, you guys, you guys are quick to answer. Flannel and frost is the answer. And we've never had a winner from Twitch. Actually, the first two top ones were. Uh, but I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Um, so you guys can see it is the top one. Um, so congratulations, Heavenly Scent. It is flannel and frost. Let me... It's this paper pack. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It has... Oh, and they're all double-sided. It, it's just... I really love this paper pack. Both of these cards, the entire card, except for this brown for the cabin and this green, this green for the tree are the only ones we didn't use. My card was, oh, and I used white cardstock for the card base for this one. But his card base was used, see, he used the trees, but then they're the green edge. You guys are awesome. I kind of thought that might be a harder question because uh, I don't know the names of all the Cricut ones, but I, yeah, we did use it twice and it is an awesome pack and everyone asks what the paper is. So congratulations. Um, so are there any questions that I can answer for you? Oh, let me show you. Let me go to my side camera. Hold on. And you can go ahead and answer, ask questions and I'll go back. Okay, here's my other camera. It's down here on the floor. Look, there's Kobe. <laughs> look, my paper packs are right here. And look, I put that up on the wall above the paper. And look at the one that says spring. It says have an awesome spring. And Kelly says, but it's not spring. I said, I, I don't care. I love it because it's pretty. And I like it and it makes me happy. So it's fall and I have spring decorations. So I have my paper pack. Where's my computer? Right here. And I have my wall, my... Oh, and look, look what's looking up at me. Wait, that guy. Look at, look at his eyeballs. I put googly blue eyes on him. Oh wait, sorry guys, this is weird. I'm trying to look through here. Look at his eyes. He stares at me. Like I look up and this is what I see. Oh wait, there. That's me looking up at him. <laughs> it's a little freaky. Okay, I gotta move this way. There's the top of my head. Sorry if I'm making you sick. There's a chair Alex sits in. And there's my vinyl. 
and there's in you can see this cart is all chocolate this is all chocolate frames and then this cart here next to it is all iron on and then there's even more there's pattern iron on there and there's scraps and extra and transfer tape in a drawer. And I moved my ribbon over there. Okay. Boy, my hair's really bright in this camera. I'm gonna put this back on the floor. And switch cameras. Okay. Uh, again, show how to save our projects for the cloud and for offline. Okay. Um, let me go to design space. So when I save my projects, I think they save. Why is that not saved? I just click save and uh, it says project saved. But the first time I had to save, I had to choose. And if I want to change it, I can. You go to these three hamburger but this hamburger button, these three lines, it's called a hamburger button. You click on that and let me read because I don't remember. Um... Oh, I guess settings. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so go to settings and this is where you can, it's saving for offline and it says cloud and computer. So every time I save a project, it will now save. Now these are only new projects. It will now, or I have to go back and resave the old ones. Uh, it will now save for cloud and computer or you can choose cloud only. You can never choose just computer, but it'll be cloud and computer. So if I were to use internet, I could still cut this out and change it in designs and stuff. Hope that answers your question. Uh, where's the ink? You will need another section. Okay, I'll show you real fast. I'm gonna do a complete tour, but Okay, we're standing up here. We're going over. There's my one eye. Who sees my infusible ink? It's right in the middle of the screen now. It's on those black shelves. See that rainbow? That rainbow and right underneath that is infusible ink. And then there's some baskets over there that have infusible ink. And that big ball is my assistant's. She brought that. She likes that ball to sit on. She doesn't sit there. She's been sitting in the chair. There's uh, where my assistant sit. And there's some orders that came in. There's the outside. There's the kitchen. There's my light. My cricket. My mess of my desk. There. You guys all get a sneak peek. There's my flamingo back there. We need to put stuff on that wall back there. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay. Okay, let me go to your questions. I'm scrolling up the chat, so... Um, I don't know if you can get the paper at Michael's, but Cricut is having buy one, get one free um, at Cricut, and today's the last day. And there was a mystery box, too. So today's the last day to buy one, get one free if you have access. If you have access, you get buy one, get one free. You also get 10% off, and you can also use my code. So it's much more than 50% off. And to use my code, you have to have $50 in your cart. But when you put two things in or more, if you get up to, like you can put six things in for $10 and you'll be above it, but you won't have to pay that. You only have to pay for three of those items and you get 10% off those three items. And with my code, you get another 10% off those three items and you get free shipping. So it's best to have access and buy from Cricut. 
And if you use my link in the description below, I get a small credit. I get a small commission. Uh, what are the Black Friday sales for Cricut? Uh, the machines are already set for the Black Friday sale. Uh, and make sure you're in my email so you get my emails because the Black Friday sales are coming soon. I'm not sure I'm allowed to tell you when, but very soon. Um, yeah, it's by Cricut. Why is that paper pack with the trees on the Cricut website for sale? I don't, this, this paper pack, all, all that paper we used in this cart are all in this paper pack. And it's all buy one, get one free at Cricut. And I really love, we didn't use this one, but I really love this paper. Isn't that pretty? But it's at Cricut. It's like watercolor. And I have like a red one like that too. Uh, I did not uh, attach my paper holders to the wall. Nothing's attached to my walls except for my big black and white cubes. Those are attached. Uh, my other dog passed away. She had a big mass in her belly. Yes, I'm going to be doing a new craft room tour, complete tour. Uh, not yet though my tour monday will be just my box here uh the unicorn won't fall off unless i have a ghost who pushes it off because it's on it's like inside the top. Like the top isn't completely flat. It's like inside the top and it's sitting inside. It's not just on top. It's it almost like has a wall that his neck is hanging over. So, and it's pretty heavy. So I think it'll be fine. My printers are on the opposite side of the room on the black things behind where Callie and Janet sit. When I said uh, I need to put something on that wall, my printers were there. Uh, okay, my chat skipped ahead. Let me go back. How do you get to DS online from the app? I'm not sure what you mean. My cricket is sitting on a little um, boxes. They're like six inch cubes from recollections from michael's my code for cricket is happy h-a-p-p-y How do I sign up for your emails? Um, there is a link in the description. I'll get that and share it in the chat. Yeah, access just for the discounts is totally worth it. It's kind of free. You save more money from access than you spent on access. Everybody should have access even if they don't use the access images, even though there's 100,000 images and there's over 400 fonts in access. Uh, 
Uh, Virginia says, my settings do not have a choice for saving, only grid and units. Then that means you're not using the desktop app. That means you're using the browser. So the browser will not save for offline use. You have to use the desktop app. You have to install the app. Some people just download it, but you have to install it. I do have a video on installing it and uh, doing it all. Tish says Joanne is having infusible ink for 40% off Black Friday, so wondering if Cricut is going to have a better deal. Um, um, hmm. I, I don't know if I can tell you, but um, I would sign up for Access. Even if you don't have Access, I'd sign up for my emails. Oh, Ronald, that's so cute. He says, I am loving the new Melody Land. The code is happy uh, for Cricut. It is for three months. It changes every quarter. So every three months, it'll change. Who makes your large white cabinets? The This cabinet or the drawers? The drawers are Alex units from Ikea. Jerry Lynn says she just bought $77 worth for $28 with my access discount. It's amazing, the discounts at Cricut. Oh, um... Oh, there is. Nightbot does have a link for my email, I think. I type in email. I'm on. Um, I'm giving my email. Here it is. So it's the bit.ly slash email from Melody. I just shared it. I'll share it again. Let me put it here. Okay, you want the other card file. Okay, I'm going to share the link for the first one that we did. So just click on that link and it should open up Design Space and save it. Um, Jennifer, you just signed up for Patreon. I send you an email with all the um, links and stuff. But if you're on Patreon and you go to posts and to the left of the post, you'll see some featured posts and one says password. Click on that and it has the link to all of my design space files and the password to get them and everything you need.
Um, if you signed up for access and it's still charging you, you need to log out and back in. And make sure you're using images that are in access. It does have to have the little green. Uh, let's go back to design space. Let's go to images. I'm going to show you what's in access. So everything with this little green flag, this little A on here, is an access. I'm going to see what's new. I have not seen what's new. Oh, look at that. Those are cute. So you can click this little eye here, and these are an access. Candy cane alphabet. So these are in images. These would be pretty to put on an ornament, just one letter, like a monogram. Or you can put it on a card. You could color it. You could draw it. Oh, there's, oh, look. So they have different colors, or you can do single colors. Those are neat. Is that all they have? Oh, here's sun. Little Miss Pumpkin Pie. Look at the dinosaur. Prehistoric dinosaurs. Santa Claus faces. I'm thankful for you. Thanksgiving phrases. There's always something to be thankful for. Bull shark. Shark types. Thankful and blessed. That's always nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Santa saying be quiet. Uh, Elsa, you can also check your membership to make sure your membership went through. Uh, yeah, you can cut these in layers. Be magical. And then they have the plates for, uh, that you could make to put a cookie and milk and carrots on. Be magical with the animals. Draw and cut magical. Jamie, thanks for answering all the questions. Uh, Spirit Junkie, you will have to watch the replay. We're just hanging out here looking at uh, what's new. Those are not new. Men's Health, those are all free. All right, guys. I have not tried making the red truck yet into 3D form. Uh, I think somebody has done that. SVG Cuts or Dreaming Tree has done that. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to let you go. Did you guys learn something today? You might want to just rewatch just to watch the chat or just watch the video. Because sometimes there's a lot going on in the chat you miss because you're watching the video. All right, guys, I think I'm going to let you go. I will see you in the next.
video. Monday. So Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern, that's 3 p.m. Mountain Time. All right, guys, bye.